Hey everyone, my name's Andy. My channel's Finding Value. If you like making money, uh, if you are interested in investing and what the most undervalued investments are in the world, uh, subscribe to the channel. This channel's for you. You have found the value. Uh, if you guys like this content, give me a thumbs up. Leave comments below on anything that you want to leave comments on. So I'm going to say that nuclear is the answer. Uh, solar and wind are not. And the reason uh, for that is in this presentation. You're going to get uh, an opinion, uh, a little bit of my opinion, but really where I got this from was a TED Talk. Uh, I think his name was Michael. can't say his last name. Uh, but he he went over this presentation on renewables are not the answer. Uh, he's a big nuclear bull, but I am a nuclear bull too. So uh, we have something in common. I'm going to go through some reasons why renewables, in when I mean renewables, solar and wind are actually trading climate problems for environmental problems. Uh, so I'm going to go through this presentation and, and give you uh, his and my opinion on, on this. So I call this nuclear is the answer. And here's the problems with renewables. So solar power on top of rooftops of homes cost about two times that of solar farms. So they want to build more solar farms because it's a lot more economical. But here's the problem. Solar farms take up a huge amount of land. They clear out the area of where these are going to be installed, and they oftentimes kill most of the local species. The gigantic transmission lines need to be built to these solar farms from those farms to the cities. And when they try doing this, they encounter a ton of resistance from locals because these things are gigantic. And also conservation biologists say, hey, look, you guys are ruining the environment. Uh, get these things out of here. So nobody really wants these gigantic trans transmission lines. They don't want the solar farms, and it is extremely bad for the local environment uh, for the animals that live in it. Uh, wind and solar only emit power 10 to 30% of the time. So we're going to take gigantic environmental hits uh, just for a subpar uh, amount of power. And remember, these things only work 10 to 30% of the time, period. Uh, converting a hydroelectric to store in batteries, that was one of the options that they were looking at doing, but is super expensive and very difficult given the location and even other uses for water. So other people are using the water for, for different things, not just for um, providing energy. So, so the reality here, wind turbines kill the most big bird species that are about to go extinct, condors, eagles, owls, etc. Uh, 6,000 birds die from solar farms today when they fly over the panels and catch on fire and die. I mean, that sounds great. Hundreds of thousands of birds and millions of bats are killed by wind turbines. Renewables cannot be integrated into the wildlife without devastating it. This is what the solar farm looks like. Uh, they're gigantic. And this right here that you see needs to be grown 17 times in order to equal one nuclear power plant. And that's the nuclear power plant, uh, Diablo Canyon. I actually went to school right next to it in, at Cal Poly. Uh, but that times 17 equals that one little facility. That is 100% power. This thing is 10 to 30%. Uh, at best, and you have to put in nuclear gas, uh, natural gas, and you have to burn the natural gas like heck, which actually is more uh, damaging to the environment in its entirety. This is the bats that have been getting killed. Uh, that's so you can see the face of, of the damage of the wind turbines that they're killing. And then these are the turtles, the desert turtles that live in this environment there that they have to relocate and eventually most of them die because that is where their habitat is, is there, not somewhere else. So that's who you're impacting. Uh, sunlight and technology here. So over time, this is a quote by Mike. Uh, over time, it struck me that there is no amount of technological innovation that could make the sunlight shine more regularly or wind blow more reliably. Sunlight and wind are dilute fuels and we need to cover lots of land to make them work. All of the major problems with renewables are not technical, but natural problems. Renewables are not worth it. 
Costs have been declining in these technologies, but the challenges outweigh the problems with integrating these into the electrical grid. As more solar and wind get integrated into the electrical grid, electricity prices have gone up five times in California and Germany. Here is the composition of average power price in the German household, and this is them going up over time, more expensive, more expensive, and at a very fast rate. France versus Germany. So France is cleaner than California and Germany and pays half the cost for its electricity. It also keeps the environment better intact, not killing a lot of the local species and putting up ugly wind turbines and large power transmission lines. Nuclear also provides more reliable power without any of the problems that renewables have. They mainly have nuclear. That's what France has. Germany has all these wind turbine engines and solar. So nuclear produced twice as much for less. Uh, 1.8 trillion for 6% and 2 trillion for 3%. That is for wind and solar versus nuclear. Uh, so on a cost basis, nuclear destroys all of the renewable energies which are damaging to the environment. Germany. Germany had spent $580 billion on nuclear. If they had spent the $580 billion which they did on renewables, if they'd spent that on nuclear, they would already be at 100% generating electricity from clean energy sources and all of its transportation energy would also be covered if they had spent it on nuclear and just gone straight to nuclear instead of going and wasting their effort and polluting the environment, well, I should say polluting the climate and uh, destroying the environment with solar and wind. So nuclear is already the safest way to make reliable electricity. These are the deaths from accidents and deaths from air pollution. Nuclear has absolutely none. It is super clean. Nuclear power is, so nuclear is a very energy dense fuel and has a very high energy return on energy invested. Nuclear waste can be contained. Other forms all emit it into the atmosphere. Solar panels and wind turbine blades have no plan for recycling at the end of their life. And the solar panels have lots of toxic chemicals that exist inside the solar panels. They're not exactly environmental or human friendly. The material throughput for each energy source, uh, you can see the mass materials in tons. Solar just has to rate the earth to get anything out of it. Uh, here's hydro, wind, same thing. Let's go rate the environment and earth to mine all of these minerals to put this together. Uh, but nuclear is actually the, the least amount for the energy that you get. Nuclear wins on all accounts. It wins on materials that go into it. It wins on energy return on energy invested. It's the safest. It is the cleanest. It is by far a large gap ahead of everything, all while being the cheapest. So telling the truth, in order to save the climate, we are destroying the environment by using solar and wind. Solar and wind are intermittent. They require natural gas power plants in order to cover the gap. That's not exactly clean. Solar and wind actually ramp up the use of more carbon-based fuels like natural gas. They ramp it up. They don't pull it back. And if you look at time and, and history of what people do, is they, they migrate from what they consider to be matter-dense fuels, this, which is renewables like wood, solar, biofuels, and wind. They migrate up to coal, then to oil, then to natural gas. And then you should be migrating to uranium because we are going up the energy return on energy invested, uh, we'll call it the, the walk towards a better, cleaner fuel. And these are better, cleaner fuels as we walk to the right-hand side to uranium. So nuclear, nuclear is the safest, least impactful way uh, to our earth to generate power for humans, bar none, period, at least from what we know of today. It is an energy dense material and can provide enough power for human wants. Renewables destroy our environment and climate and should be rejected. So, a lot of information there. And I'm sure that it may go counter to what you guys have thought. Uh, I kind of always knew this in the background. I'm pretty, an I'm not anti-anti-renewables, but I, I don't like them. Uh, I don't like them because they are not as energy dense as other uh, materials that we can use. If we can use nuclear, why the heck not use nuclear? I mean, that's the one that we should be hitting the entire time. 
Energy density means that it will take less area to produce the same amount of energy. Uh, I think solar and wind, if we were to put this in its entirety in mass, I think it's going to be an absolute devastation to the environment, uh, not only from installing everything, but also from a mining aspect. So we're going to have to mine a ton of materials, and then we're going to take up all this earth uh, in terms of land to generate the electricity and power that everybody wants. So I, I don't think it's a good idea. Uh, I'm not anti the world. I'm not anti reducing emissions. Uh, I'm anti uh, exchanging climate, you know, something that benefits the climate and destroying the environment at the same time. I want climate benefits and environment benefits. Uh, if we can have a win-win situation, which is basically nuclear, uh, I think nuclear, once people wake up to the the cost the cost benefits, the environment benefits, the climate benefits, the benefits of everything all around, uh, everyone's gonna gonna jump on nuclear at some point. They just have to take the time to figure it out. And even if we install this solar and wind, uh, people will eventually figure it out, I think. So if you guys like this content, you know, give me a thumbs up. Uh, leave some comments below on what you guys think about this presentation or what your thoughts are. Uh, I, I'm very curious to know what, what you guys think. And thank you for listening. This is Finding Value.